everyone welcome back to another undead world hero survival episode today we're going to be featuring bella i'm gonna showcase her uh, actually played a lot of you know a lot of content yesterday for bella to test her out i actually got her yesterday uh you know surprisingly in one of my pulls and uh, i actually have seen how she works and uh, without further ado let us move on to our kit guys so let's uh take a look at this, Watch closely now. this is how it's done. so more or less um bella first hand uh, um that i have uh, first time that i've seen her kit automatically i was convinced that she was perfect for pvp so again um after reviewing it uh, yesterday again i tried her in pvp pve it really goes back to pvp so Let's go over her skills, guys, and um, have a more in-depth discussion on what this is. So, you have here Molten Lava. So, I'm just going to go to the gist of the skill. So, after her own debuff uh, has been applied, when she attacks, after the other skills have applied her debuff, after she attacks, then adds SP and attack speed to herself. So, this is going to be her first buff. Okay, take note because I'm counting. So this uh, is going to be her buff. Next is going to be Soul Skewer. So Bella pulls an enemy towards her from a distance, dealing 100% uh, attack power and silencing them for 6 seconds. Okay, so we have her first debuff, which is silence. Then Bella gains lifesteal for 6 seconds as well for the duration of Soul Skewer. So again, those are two debuffs already. So again, very fitting for PvP. Next is going to be Real Steel. Bella's Blade electrifies to deliver a deep stab, dealing damage equal to 400% of attack power, which is a very high um, amount of damage, and also gives bleed, and also freezes affected enemies' SP. So there will, <laughs> there will be a point where... Uh, their SP gain will have to stop for... This is going to be for 6 seconds. Okay. So again, another bunch of... Uh, another bunch of uh, debuffs. So bleed and freeze of, uh, of uh, SP. Then the last is going to be... Flaming Sword. <clears throat> so at the ready, the back blade rages into red. And Bella delivers a, a series of strikes. So deals 250% attack power upward and, and sideward slashes. Then another um, damage uh, dealt, which is 350 attack, um, slams the sword into the ground, dealing 350 attack and sending enemies airborne. So uh, left side, up, down. <laughs> so deals two types of damage and also a strike from flaming sword reduces enemies healing effects. For five for fifty percent for six seconds. Again, another debuff. So have you, you know, have you have you counted how many debuffs there is? So I already made a count. So debuffs in total is going to be four. Buffs is going to be three. Your debuff, um, which will be fitting for for PvP, would be silence. Um, cannot cast. Next would be uh, next would be bleed. And freezing of SP and also heal reduction. So again, she is really, really built for PvP. Um, while she is actually good in in PvE as well, you would not really appreciate her skills in 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 PvE. So again, the verdict is for PvP. So let's take a look at what my or how my my uh Bella is built, so she's already at 855k in terms of um, her combat power, so a lot of attack at 61,000 already. I think the highest that I have for attack is going to be, not her, it's going to be um, Tanya and also Mr. Murray. So he, she actually belongs in the top three in terms of attack. And let's move on to a little bit more of uh, testing. I'm going to test this. Um, she works well in, in, in Raging Rumble, but you're going to see how effective she is in, in Novice Arena. Let's take um, 
couple of the samples in Novice Arena. Hopefully, we could find here uh, closest to me. So let's do this. By the way, the team that I'm using is my initial team. I just replaced um, Jones with uh, with Bella, uh, which makes it deadly because I have also a heavy damage dealer on the left, which is Abigail and Bella on the right. Then you have Mr. Murray <laughs> on the center. You have the buffer here, which is Lita, and you have the, um, the debuffer, and you, you have your... Um, necromancer so to speak uh in astra in the bottom left so let's you know let's just do this let's see how she does focus more on her on how she deals that damage so as you can see she can go toe to toe then i've seen i've seen a defender go after her and she you know she shreds them to pieces even in one-on-one -on -one. because of a lot of debuffs that uh, she gives as you can see she's still alive she she didn't die let's take let's look for a more you know a more closer to my combat power of uh, 6000 let's refresh this let's go to let's try this out the eight eight thousand and hundred something let's see how it goes i'm prepared to lose this but what the heck? Let's 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 try this with um, with a more formidable foe. As you can see, she can really go to to to, to even with Gabriel. She hasn't been killed yet, and Gabriel is going to be dead. So I'm still ahead. Oh no, I'm not ahead. I'm I'm actually reeling here. So resurrect, please. So there she is, and there is um. Okay, I'm dead. Apparently, apparently there's a big discrepancy, but you get my drift. She is going to be very, very good, um, especially if the the combat powers are going to be a match. Let's look for. Let's do five five. Let's refresh. Let's have somebody five nine here. This is more closer to what I have, so. Let's see how she does. She actually has a bit more cleave damage, so kind of AOE. Um, I've tested her out. She can damage, I think, up to three in front of her. So very good. <laughs> Again, she just, you know, turned them into mince meat. So apparently she dies, but again, the second wind really, you know, kicks it kicks in. So as long as your matchups are within the same combat power, she it, she will really dominate. Let's let's look for somebody who is a little bit more than me. Let's look at this one, six seven. So the matchup, this matchup is going to be okay. Uh, Sugar Reapers, almost the same. Let's try this out, see how it goes, whether it goes my way or... As you can see there, Abigail is being shredded to pieces. That's one-on-one. -on -one. And she's dead. My Abigail actually is dead as well, but again... This is going to be close, guys. Going to be close. I'm dead. Her advantage there is she has, uh, what do you call this? She has Helen. The key there is Helen because, but by that build, she has three people, the three heroes who can resurrect. Let's have one last battle here, guys, for the end. To see how she does. So, again, Hive one-on-one -on -one with Gabriel. So, uh, Gabriel hits him hard initially. But Gabriel is already shredded. She can really, you know, go to toe to toe with with defenders, especially if it's going to be one on one. The problem with her, if um, she gets mobbed, um, that would be tricky. But based on five versus five, she is very very good. Um, as long as you are actually at par in terms of total combat power, you're really gonna win.
So again, as you see there, I think I have two more. Let's let's just finish this off. Um, I have tokens. I have two tickets here. Let's go with five nine. So again, you have here um Helen. Only Helen. Don't have Astra. So again, she is actually going toe to toe with this one. So we'll see what happens. Um, see. The, the the burst damage that she deals is actually crazy. Before, when I had Jones here, I could ne never really have that burst damage. But with her, right now, she is really, really viable for PvP. Probably top three in terms of PvP right now. So I won't, you know, I won't, um, I won't guarantee anything. But based on what I see for pvp she's going to be dominant in pvp in the couple of weeks or months to come kit is her kit is actually very good PV, pve wise um not sustainable i'd rather have jones there um for 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 pv pve instead of her um she deals she is good for quick games not the extended ones where we, which you have waves. She's not effective there. So if if this is going to be it, just a PvP 5 on 5 and that's it, she's going to excel. She has quick damage, quick debuffs, and she can really demoralize any one-on-one -on -one situation with any opponent. So that's it. So let's but before that, let's let's go over a couple of, you know, a couple of matches for Royal Rumble. So I'm at 15. Let's do this 14. Let's do one match for for not Royal Rumble. Uh, this is okay. So I have her here. You can see there. So let's see how she holds up in the first wave. So again, being rushed by Gabriel. I don't think Gabriel will be a match for her. Um, but this one is going toe to toe with her. So she's dead. Is Gabriel still alive? Not sure. So so far doing good um, for this matchup. So already had reinforcements here. Second team incoming and uh, first team. Most of them are dead, uh, especially the two people who are the front. But I'm actually leading. Second team saving them and third team on the way. So again, that's it. Um, what else can I say? She's going to be very good in PvP. Uh, top three, top three, probably behind um, behind Helen for PvP right now. Okay, guys, so thank you very much for staying this far in this video. So for those of you who are here, please consider subscribing because this helps my channel a lot. Also, don't forget to click that bell icon and put a like to this video. Thank you, guys. Stay safe. Take care. This is the Warden, and I'm out of here.